Another common thing we want to set is the background of an item, of an element. So let's say, let's put, let's get rid of all this, put maybe an opening div, and inside of that we'll put a paragraph that says paragraph one. And we'll duplicate that, paragraph two, paragraph three. And then I might even put another div in there with paragraph four. So if I refresh this, it looks like this because we can't really see the divs because there, there's no styling to them. But our paragraphs are still have a background of yellow because that's in our CSS. So already you can see exactly how to set the background. You, it's simply the background property. Now you can set the background as a color, you can set it as an image, and we'll get to that in a minute, but it's, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and set our div background to something else. So div, and I'm selecting all divs, background is going to be that one. Oops, I forgot my semicolon, that was almost bad. So now that I've said that, you can see that the background of the div is green and the background of the P's, which are inside it, are yellow. So you have an, a bigger div on the outside that has the green background and on the inside you have these P's and then you have this div here with paragraph 4 inside of it. So the background, you actually don't even see it because the div is so is being overridden by that, by the paragraph. You also have the option of setting the background for the body. So remember in our HTML, body is this is the entire body of the document, it's not this whole thing. So if I set body background to black and refresh, the whole thing is black except for the parts that are overridden by the P tag and the div tag. So that's how you can set the body background. You do that, people do that all the time. That's a very common thing to set the body background. What else you can do? is you can set the um, background of any any item to a URL, to an image. So I'm gonna set it to URL, oops, URL, and inside of here, you put your URL. So I have a fun one, which is going to look so good, you're not even gonna believe it. Refresh, there's the body, with the background of an image. So we've got the Nyan cat there in the background. You'll notice that it's tiled, Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. For example, if we wanted to, for real, instead of the stupid Nyan cat, we might have a wood grain image. And just find one, this, this looks good, sure. Copy the image address. This looks like GeoCities from 1992. So copy that image address, paste it in here, and refresh, and we've got this wood grain. Now right now that wood grain is really large, so if I make it big, but still it tiles. You can see that it's tiled right there. We might not want that. So in our CSS, we can set another property on here, background repeat to no repeat. There's our semicolon, let's refresh. And it doesn't repeat, but it also doesn't go all the way over, so we don't want that. So we add another property. Background size is cover. Save and then refresh. And now it stretches the image in a way that it covers it. Now this can mess up your aspect ratio and skew your image, but you have to play with that with your image and, and change your images out and whatever. That is the basics of backgrounds. You can set it in a variety of different ways, but always it's going to be background. If you're just setting the color, you can do background color. That's another thing to consider. It does the same, but that's more specific. And you can use a URL to set the background as an image. Notice this does not have to be in quotes. Inside the URL, open parentheses, put your URL, close parentheses. It's very important that you have the semicolons on the end, because if you don't, let's say I forgot that semicolon right there, and refresh, it doesn't apply. The no repeat is not applying and the size is not applying because there's not a semicolon there. When I put the semicolon there, it works correctly. So keep that in mind. And that's it for the backgrounds. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.